How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at some practice problems for 19.2 entropy and the second law of thermodynamics. So objectives being explain what entropy is, its role in reaction spontaneity, and quantify the value of entropy for phase changes. So we have this equation, delta S equals Q rev divided by T, right? Where uh, the delta S is the change in entropy, the Q reverse is the heat exchange for a reversible process, and the T is the temperature in Kelvin at which that process is occurring, which is why I got a picture of a pot of boiling water. So this is at the boiling point, so the temperature is gonna remain constant. We're talking about going from a liquid to a gas and the change in entropy associated with that. All right, so number one, which process represents the amount of, I'm sorry, which quantity represents the amount of disorder in a system? So it's gonna be A, entropy is a measure of disorder. It's not enthalpy, it's not heat flow, bond energy or internal energy, entropy is the amount of disorder in the system. Two, in an isothermal process, delta S equals blank. So iso means the same, right? If you took earth science or something, maybe you looked at iso lines like iso bars, uh, they're lines that connect values that are the same. So isothermal means at the same temperature. So processes that occur at the same temperature, delta S equals Q reverse divided by big T for temperature. All right, so let's take a look at number three. For a spontaneous process, which of the following is always positive? It's going to be the change in entropy for the universe. So the universe's disorder is always going up. So just think about, I think I tell my students, think about your room, right? So it seems to get messy all on its own, just by itself. The universe favors things getting messier, all right? The entropy of the universe is continually increasing, all right? It's always going up. The entropy is increasing over time. All right, five, getting into some math. It says the normal boiling point of methanol is 64.7 degrees Celsius, and the molar enthalpy of vaporization is 71.8 kilojoules per mole. What is the value of delta S when 2.15 moles of methanol vaporize, vaporizes at 64.7 degrees Celsius, and they want it in joules per Kelvin? So we're gonna have to go to our equation and go, hey, I know the change in entropy is gonna equal the heat exchange, divided by the temperature. Now the heat exchange, they tell you some information so you can figure it out. They tell you the molar enthalpy of vaporization is 71.8 kilojoules per mole. Now Q needs to be in terms of just joules. So we got kilojoules we gotta fix and moles we gotta fix. So let me fix the kilojoules. Well I know that one kilojoule is a thousand joules. So that'll cancel out my kilojoules. Now I gotta get rid of my moles. And they tell me that it's 2.15 moles. So now when I multiply by 2.15 moles, my moles cancel out and I'm gonna be left with just joules. So that's gonna be my Q ref. And then, hey, I'm just gonna right underneath it, divided by temperature, which has gotta be in Kelvin. So I gotta go, hey, 64.7 degrees Celsius plus 273 will give me my Kelvin temperature of roughly 337.7 Kelvin. So when I plug and chug and do all that, I get 457 joules per Kelvin. Now, I usually get tripped up with if Q rev is supposed to be positive or negative, so I always f worry about the sign at the end of it. I got my number, and now I'm gonna take a look. It says the normal boiling point, what is the delta at? S for when it vaporizes. So I know if I'm going from liquid to a gas that my entropy is increasing. So I know my change is gonna to have to be a positive value. If I was going in the opposite direction and doing condensation, then I know my entry, entropy would have decreased. So I don't worry about it in the math, I think about it at the end. So that should be our final answer, 457 joules per Kelvin. All right, six, the normal boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius and its molar enthalpy of vaporization is 40.67 kilojoules per mole. What is the change in entropy in a system in joules per Kelvin when 39.3 grams of steam at one atmosphere condenses? So again, I'm gonna be using this equation. The change in entropy is gonna to equal to the heat exchange of a reversible process over its temperature. 
Now my Q rev is going to equal, well, let's see, they told me the molar enthalpy of change was 40.67 kilojoules per mole. Again, the problem specifies that it wants my answer in joules per Kelvin, so let me get rid of this kilojoules. Um, I know that it takes 1,000 joules to make one kilojoule. My kilojoules cancels out. Now I got an issue with the moles here uh, because they told me grams. So now I gotta go, all right, well, I gotta get moles. So I know for water, H2O has a GFM of 18.02 grams per mole. So if I'm trying to find moles, I gotta do grams divided by GFM. So I'd have 39.3 grams divided by that 18.02 grams per mole. When I do this, grams will cancel out. I'm left with moles, which would be on top. It'll cancel out there. Now I got my joules. So instead of punching in the calculator and then writing down some number and then plugging that number back in, I'm just going to, in my you know smart calculator, do all that and then divide it by the temperature, which has got to be in Kelvin. So I do 100 degrees Celsius plus 273, which will give me uh, 373 Kelvin. So now I can plug this whole thing in the top, divided by 373, and I get a 238 joules per Kelvin. Now I go back and I think about, well, what is actually uh, happening? Is this a positive change or is this a negative change? And it's saying it condenses. So I'm going from a gas to a liquid. So I know my entropy is going down. So this change is going to be a negative 238 joules per Kelvin. All right, number seven, the normal boiling point of ethanol is 78.3 degrees Celsius and its molar enthalpy of vaporization is 38.56 kilojoules per mole. What is the change in entropy in a system in joules per Kelvin when 97.2 grams of ethanol at one atmosphere condenses to a liquid at the normal boiling point? So again, my change in Entropy is going to equal the heat exchange of a reversible process divided by the time. Now this Q rev, let's take a look. It says the molar enthalpy is 38.56 kilojoules per mole. And again, they want my answer in joules per Kelvin, so I got to fix this kilojoules. But I know that it takes a thousand joules to make one kilojoules. My kilojoules cancel out. I'm left with joules over moles. So let me get rid of that moles. Uh, it says 97.2 grams of ethanol. So I got to figure out the GFM of ethanol. So C2H5OH has a GFM of 46.08 grams per mole. So now I go, all right, well, they gave me how many grams am I working with? 97.2 grams. So I got 97.2 grams divided by this 46.08 grams per mole. My grams cancels out, my moles cancel out, I'm left with joules, perfect. Now I gotta do that divided by the temperature in Kelvin. So I gotta do this 78.3 degrees Celsius plus 273, and I end up with 351.3 Kelvin. So now when I plug into my calculator, all those numbers, plug and chug, I get 230, I think I wrote one, joules per Kelvin. And now I worry about the sign. Is it a positive or a negative? And it says it's condensing to a liquid. So I know going from a uh, gas to a liquid is a decrease in entropy. So I end up with a negative 231 joules per Kelvin. All right, I hope you found it helpful. See you in class. Okay, bye.